When North Carolina lawmaker Trisha Cotham announced she was switching political parties and joining the GOP, she said she felt pushed out by Democratic officials. Now, some of those Democrats are refuting her claims. Paul Spay has more for PolitiFact. Let's go through some of the things Representative Trisha Cotham said about Democrats during her press conference last month, starting with this one. You better vote in line with everything Governor Cooper tells you to do. From signing on to bills, to he wanted to pick your seat on the House floor. Let's be clear, the governor has no direct control over the House seating chart. And you can see Cooper's office disputed Cotham's claim there. The majority party, meaning Republicans, actually has final say over it. Now, in this next clip, Cotham responds to a question about her communication with Robert Reeves, leader of the House Democrats. He's never talked to me all session. I've tried. That's not true, according to Reeves, who provided us with screenshots of text messages with Cotham over several months, including at least one exchange in which Reeves says he invited Cotham to dinner. Now, Cotham also said this about Reeves. I think when Representative Lee Reeves sent out a statement last week encouraging us to resign and or a primary challenge really showed the low blow of where we are in this institution. A week before Cotham's party switch, Reeves issued a press release about the House's vote to loosen state gun laws, and it was on a day that Cotham was absent. She has said she had a medical appointment, and in his statement, Reeves praised Democrats who did attend the vote and said voting in primary and general elections is the only way to hold politicians accountable. But it did not say anyone should resign, and he didn't explicitly call on Cotham or any other Democrat to be primaried. That's why the truth meter rates that claim mostly false. Read about more of Cotham's claims at WRL.com.